Welcome to the Food Forest course. Each week we offer assignments and information to guide you step by step through the design of your own food forest. Here's some things to consider as we venture down the path of materials this week. So you're ready to plant a food forest and it's time to consider what the state of your soil is so that you can make good decisions on how to manage soil fertility for the health of your fruits and your vegetables that you're gonna plant in your food forest. You may be able to find some resources from your local municipality or county or country that provide information on the constituents of your soil type. There's free resources that you can research by contacting different government agencies. You can also do a soil jar test to help determine the amounts of sand, silt, and clay in your soil. And by understanding the makeup of your soil, then you can develop a soil management plan to help optimize the growth of your plants and their needs by finding appropriate materials that are accessible locally and affordable for your food forest. Here in the city, we had compacted soil and we wanted to be able to plan for having long-term nutrients as well as have our soil infiltrate water easily in our rainy season in the winter and also hold water for a long time in our summer so that we could minimize the amount of watering that we needed to do. We found that we could get a ton of straw bales and a dump truck load of composted organic cow manure both delivered to our home and that was a a really sweet deal for being able to design our food forest. It certainly costs some money on the front end, but it's really worth it. Now my soil looks like chocolate cake and it is just holds water. So I only have to water about every three days in the annual vegetable garden and the food forest plants, many of them don't get watered more than once a month. As you do your materials assessment for what you can use to enhance the fertility in your food forest and your water storage capacity, keep in mind your soil type so that you know that if you need better drainage in your soil, that you're helping to build more of your carbon sponge with carbon rich materials like straw or wood chips or nut husks or twigs. If you need more nutrients in your soil, then make sure you have access to fresh, leafy, green, juicy things that can help you build your soil. Some things are considered green and juicy, but they're brown like manure. So those are really good for enhancing the nutrients in your soil. Once you've assessed the materials that you can use to enhance your soil, then you wanna also consider your timeline. How much time do you have before you plant your trees? And how can you develop your food forest in stages so that you can match your ability to enhance the soil to provide a good foundational structure for your trees when you plant them? to the amount of materials that you have available. You may not have access to the amount of materials that you need to match your dream food forest. Maybe you just plant five trees a year or whatever it is that match the access to resources that you have. You will certainly be glad that you amended your soil on the front end to make a cozy spot for those trees and berry bushes to settle when you put them in the ground. And it's sure to help them thrive over a longer period of time. Thanks for exploring food forests with me this week. I hope that you gathered ideas to bring abundance, resilience, delight, and community with both people and other species into your design with this week's material. <laughs>